talked to Chris Morgan a couple weeks ago and he said pretty much the best part of writing these scripts each time is coming up with the Hobbes speak and the things <laughs> for, for you and to do. Can you talk about the development of Hobbes and, and creating this character? I gotta tell you, he, he the character of Hobbes continues continues to be, and we've talked about him over, over the years now, it continues to be one of the most fun challenges and rewarding characters that I've ever played because we continue to add these little layers to Hobbes and we created a scenario in Fast Five where he comes in, there's an independence that he has from the core crew on this side of the law. Uh, Hobbes speak, says things in a certain way with a certain delivery and he's talking trash and he says, now the beauty of it is, so myself, and Chris Morgan and our producing partner uh, Hiram Garcia. You know, I mean, we the, the the times that we're able to spend together and create the most absurd shit to say. But the key is, Hobbs has got to say it in a committed, profound way. Daddy's got to go to work. I mean, that shit is <laughs> just, you can tell I'm getting excited now, I'm cussing. It's so, uh, it's really so rewarding, I think, because, because I, I'm able to say it in a delivery that's very, I mean it, I say it like this, a little bit of gruff in the voice, but all the while the audience knows, I am winking at them constantly I'm having fun and so it's it's been the best it's been the best and then to add the layer of of uh, Hobbs as a girl now in the movie is a lot of fun and I think where we can go with that in the future if we do come back and run again in this thing have a great time it's boundless it's boundless, boundless. Um, we don't see an enormous amount of Hobbs in this film because he was shooting another movie. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we don't have to talk about that part. He was. He opens the movie in a very big way, and he certainly closes it in a very big way. Um, yes. Let's talk a little bit about the Hobbs Shaw fight. Well, the we we had to. I had other commitments, unfortunately, at that time. So what we could fit in is what we see in the movie, where he opens the movie, he closes the movie. Uh, we all agreed, you get together with the studio, it's like, how do we create a scenario in the beginning that's memorable and epic, and then how do we come back at the end that's memorable and epic? And, um, uh, you know, it's, it's also one of the, um, it's also one of the fun parts about the franchise. I think because of the, I think because of the independence that there is, we're able to come in, uh, we're able to create that scenario at the end where he comes in, many guns, the whole thing, nothing is safe. <laughs> um, and it also sets us up nicely, I think, if we, again, if we come back and play again for a fast eat and whatever else we're conjuring up, it sets us up nicely. Um, talk a little bit about working with Jason on that fight scene because for, for any character to come in and actually be a physical threat to Hobbs is shocking enough. It was great. I, you know, we, Jason, uh, Jason brings a, a great level of, um, of weight to him. And Jason is one of the very few act, one of the very few movie stars who is legit skilled at fighting. Legit. And and it was a, a really great breath of fresh air when he comes on our set and we we're able to put together this great fight scene and, and uh, punctuate it with a rock bottom through the glass table. Because you gotta give the people what they want. Lisa, that's what, <laughs> you gotta do it. Um, I had a great time fighting with him and, and he's great, you know, and, and I give him a lot of credit and I give James Wan a lot of credit because it, it's, it's a challenging, the franchise is challenging. It's like a crazy family that's challenging. And when you're new and you're coming in, but you're also the, the responsibility Jason had of carrying the movie on his back in terms of the main bad guy, that's a big deal. And you got all these other heroic figures on this side. He's carrying it on that side. Give him a lot of credit. I thought he did a great job. That 
rock bottom move blew up all over the internet like crazy. I know. Is that fun to be able to blend your past with your I present? I love it. I love it. And I was, I've always, fans have always said you should inject your wrestling moves and I didn't want to blur the lines, but in this case, it was appropriate. And so when you're approaching, we are putting this fight scene together and you want to punctuate. We know there's going to be a big explosion and there's a 10 foot story that's, you know, you're blowing out the building, the whole thing. So, you know, I go to Jason and I say, hey, what if we, at the end, we punctuate it with this, with this move, with, with the rock bottom. It's never been seen before in cinema. Fans are going to go bananas over this thing. So it's at that moment where, J where the, the star is at a crossroad. So if their ego is answering for them, then they say, mm, I don't know, I, you know, I don't think we should. It's your big finishing move. I don't want to be a part of that. Or you do what Jason did, which was, oh, yeah, mate, yeah, give it to me. Put me through the table, glass table, everything, cut us up a little bit. Uh, he came with no ego. And then when you come to a fight scene like that, and a sequence like that with no ego, then you get magic. And that's what we had. And then you get Hobbs saving the day at the end. And he is the get, cavalry. It, that's another thing, too. Yes. You bring the cavalry. Woman, I am the cavalry. I love it. I love it. I love the lines. I love the moment. He's picking, he's picking. He's dragging a gun <laughs> that was attached to a helicopter, for Christ's sake. <laughs> now, I tell I've been saying this all day. Fast eight, I'm calling Santa Claus. That's it. There's no other way to go. Me and Hobbs and Santa Claus. <laughs> And I'm going to put Vin on, on Rudolph, does it? <laughs> <laughs>